Take a moment to visualize yourself as a young child. Mature enough to be able to tell the difference between wrong and right, but young enough to not be able to protect yourself from someone bigger than you. You're the child with the mysterious bruises on your arm, the one that hasn't eaten more than 12 hours ago, but it's cool you tell yourself you can go a couple, a couple more hours without eating anything because you're used to it. You're the kid that flips the tables at school and is ready to throw a fist at the damn bastard that tried getting all up on you that one other day. The older you get, the more you start to love your own existence, but where are your parents? Oh yeah, them. The ones that always smoke a blood and curse you out whenever you give them stress. Or the ones leaving you home alone for days with your younger siblings and you having to tell them that mom and dad will be back soon, but really, you have no idea when or if they'll ever be back. Every year, more than 3.6 million individuals between the ages of an infant through 17 experience a certain type of abuse and neglect, while about 1.6 million of them die yearly because of it. This means all 3.6 million victims are easily capable of filling up the population in the country of Uruguay. Abuse and neglect on anyone is abysmal enough. However, letting it happen to a child is way more effective because now they have to live their whole life ahead of them with the wounds of abuse and neglect affecting future relationships, affecting them mentally, such as suicidal thoughts, anxiety, depression, and so much more. Sure, I can guarantee all of us high schoolers in this audience, we are not therapists and can help the victim professionally, but that does not mean we have a voice and can help them either way. By doing simple things such as showing them that you care in the first place is a huge step into helping them, as it can make, as it can make the victim feel self-worth after all the traumatic experiences they've been through. It can be as simple as having a conversation with them, asking them about how they feel and what's on their mind is a great way to start. However, most importantly, break the cycle of silence and help the victim tell a responsible individual, as how the smallest and most simplest call to action can always end up being the most effective when it comes to helping and saving a life. Thank you. Take a moment to visualize yourself as a young child.